Hey guys, this is Karim Birani from Mobi Scrub and this is the full review of the Samsung Galaxy S5. Now, the device comes with Android KitKat, which is the latest in the market as of now. It's got an octa-core processing environment, that's two quad-core processors running together, so you can imagine how fast this device is. It's got 2 gigabytes of RAM, 16 GB internal memory, and a 16 megapixel camera. The device weighs 145 grams, which is slightly more than the, the Galaxy S4, and it, it's about 8.1 millimeters thick, slightly thicker than the S4. The S5 display is a 5.1 inch massive screen and it's super AMOLED and it's a full HD screen. So that's 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels. You can pretty much watch high definition full HD movies very easily. The Galaxy S5 camera is a 16 megapixel sensor built on the ISO cell technology, which is said to improve the, uh, the picture quality considerably. And of course, we would see more of that in the camera review of the Galaxy S5. And just like the Galaxy S4, the S5 is really nice and easy to hold using single hand. On the left edge, you've got the uh, volume rocker and on the right edge, you've got the power and lock key. And again, the device, it's just so easy to hold using single hand, even with that large display. At the bottom, you've got a USB 3.0 data syncing and charging port, which is a lot faster uh, than the USB 2 port that we've seen, uh, you know, generally. And of course, that cap there is just to protect it from, uh, you know, being spoiled by water or dust. Along with the headphone jack, you also have the IR LED blaster, which basically means you can use the S5 as a remote control to change television channels, volume, even set-top boxes, DVRs, and whatnot. Now let's open the rear panel, uh, and we'll see that there should be some sort of, uh, you know, water resistance mechanism. And there you go, this gasket there kind of protects the device from, you know, any water damage uh, that may occur. Then you've got a 2800 milliampere hour battery, which is 200 milliamps actually more than the Galaxy S4. You've got a micro SD card slot, 64 gigabytes expandable. You've got the micro SIM card slot. And at the left, you've got these connectors. So basically you can have the S view cover for the Galaxy S5. I haven't seen anything in the market as of now, but I'm sure there would be something. Now, I really wanna emphasize on uh, the single-handed use of the Galaxy S5. And, you know, even being a right-hander with my left hand, I can very nicely and easily traverse across the display uh, at all corners. And the perforated polycarbonate plastic at the back with the really soft finish uh, provides a very good grip and premium feel to the device. So when you're holding it in your hand, it kind of, I don't know, it just feels really good and, you know, not as plasticky or glossy as we saw in the Galaxy S4. Now finally we arrive at the uh, the OS, the software bit, and it's running Android 4.4.2 KitKat, which is the latest one. It's got a new lock screen with a new animation uh, when you're unlocking the screen. So there you go, it's a slightly tweaked uh, version of the Samsung's TouchWiz. In terms of functionality, it's more or less the same, but there are certainly some visual tweaks and I really like them. Because it's different, nothing that it's it's better, it's just different, so it's welcomed and it's new and you know, feels really fresh. And you'd notice uh, in the preloaded apps that they've really removed all the Samsung apps that used to come with the Galaxy S4 or the Note 3. But that's only because, you know, they want to go more with the uh, stock Android experience, but they still give you the Galaxy Essentials uh, area where you can go ahead and download all of these that come pre-installed in the Galaxy S4 and the Note 3. So don't worry, you're not out of luck. And of course, you can also install some premium apps that come for free with the Galaxy uh, S5. Another change is that they've removed the menu button and they've added the recent apps button instead. The menu button now is basically represented by the three dots on the top right, as you see. So it's going to be there in each app. So don't worry that you've not lost your menu functionality. The display is really punchy. It's super AMOLED. It's a lot brighter. It's a lot more colorful than, than the Galaxy S4. Uh, and you know, the pen tile arrangement of the pixels is slightly different, which results into a much better uh, visual display. And they've really revamped their icons, uh, especially in the areas of their notification panel and their settings uh, menu. You know, the icons are a lot more minimalist. Uh, they're more simple and they just look better. Uh, of course, they're more different than what we've seen in the usual Galaxy smartphones. But, you know, they've and even the settings menu, the way it's now organized and categorized, it's really simple. And if you still find this difficult, you can just use the uh, search icon and you know, if you're looking for something like say add account without browsing through so much, just type it out and you're all set. Interestingly, I really wanna talk about the voice recorder app on this device. It's got these interesting modes, uh, you know, for example, interview, which could also mean lecture, uh, conversation, voice memo, 
You know, basically it just activates and deactivates microphones uh, located at different points on your device to make the best audio mix for you. And you know, it's even got a memo mode wherein you can speak and it converts into text automatically and all of this is saved. Uh, and you can of course listen to it later. All right, now let's get to uh, S Health. Of course, it's a little revamped version and you know, you've got the pedometer, the exercise mode and the heart rate monitor, which is uh, something new. In pedometer, of course, it just calculates the number of steps you're taking um, and you know, you can have a complete chart of your performance over a number of days. Uh, you've got the heart rate monitor, which is the, the, the most recent development and it's pretty accurate, but it does give you at times, very, very rarely, some bizarre numbers. And just like the Galaxy S4, you've got the basic run of the mill stuff. You've got air view and smart stay and, you know, all the gestures and you've got all of that in the Galaxy S5. Uh, what's new again is the, uh, the touch ways, you know, you've got you can, of course, customize your SMS app. So, you know, different background, chat bubble colors uh, and stuff like that. But what's interesting is you can add priority senders. So people you really talk to often just lay them out right on top and you can always get to them, uh, you know, like a shortcut. Now, uh, I'm going to talk about the toolbox, which is, again, a new thing. You've seen this uh, something of this sort on the uh, iOS devices. It's just a quick way to get to the things that you really want to use a lot. And you can, of course, customize this. Now, the ultra power saving mode, it's, uh, I think it's handy for people who always run out of battery. And what it does is it simply puts your phone to low performance, just a bunch of apps, nothing fancy, and no home screens, nothing. You know, you've got access to limited apps right here. And that's all that you have to do with and it really results into a huge battery life. And of course, the fingerprint scanner. It's pretty easy to set up. Just go into your lock screen menu and set it up quickly. You can uh, use the fingerprint um, unlocking to kind of go into kids mode or into a private mode. And of course, to uh, unlock your screen if you wish to. And it, it just works easy. You know, I have not seen any problem whatsoever. And of course, there's this new uh, way to, uh, you know, save battery while you're using GPS. You have these three different modes of using GPS. And of course, high accuracy just takes up the most battery, but it is the most accurate as well. And just to prove my point earlier, just like the Galaxy S4, you've got Air Browse Direct Call, when you just pick up the phone and your call gets connected. Smart Alert, when you pick up the device, it kind of vibrates if you have a notification, stuff like that. And Air View, uh, you know, just to hover your finger around stuff and it just pops out. From a performance perspective, the device scores 36,855 on the test I did. And it's one of the top ranking uh, performance benchmark scores that I've received. Obviously, it's an octa core processor with two gigabytes of RAM. Now, what you don't know about the Galaxy S5 is that it does not have the temperature sensor or the ambient temperature sensor, but that's okay. I don't think we missed that a lot. Now let's really quickly just jump into the camera. Uh, it's a 16 megapixel camera with ISO cell technology. Uh, the interface has been revamped. So this is the stock camera app. And as you can see, the settings menu, all of them are now in one place. There's, there's no uh, categorization that we'd seen earlier. Uh, the device can click pictures up to 16 megapixel and can shoot up to uh, 2K video. So that's not 4K, but 2K, uh, it's ultra high definition. Now you can, of course, you know, just play around with the settings and uh, kind of lay the ones that you're going to use the most on the top, always ready for your access. And there are a bunch of color filters, nothing new here. You've seen this in the Galaxy S4 and the Note 3, and this device has it too. And there are a bunch of shooting modes like uh, Panorama, Virtual Tour, Dual Camera, and you can download much more of these. Anyway, so, you know, uh, there's going to be a detailed review on the camera to kind of uh, show what kind of uh, videos it can shoot and what kind of pictures it can take and talk about selective focus, real-time HDR and stuff like that. So check out the camera review uh, if you wish to. So to conclude, the Galaxy S5 is definitely just an incremental upgrade from the Galaxy S4, but for someone who's looking to buy a brand new phone and has not had the S4, S5 is the thing. It's good looking, it's lightweight, it's fast, got a really great camera and it's sexy, it's just, looks great. So thank you for watching guys. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe. See you.